Hey guys, I'm Vishal Shrestha and if that's difficult for you to pronounce, you can just call me Vish. And this is the first video from the Code City. So it might not be that good. Let's let's face it, it's not going to be that good, but but you'll learn something. You will definitely learn something. And if there's any doubt that you have, you can drop them in the comment section below. I'll definitely answer all of your doubts. So yes, so let's begin. Okay, so today we'll be making an Android app that tracks your location. So wherever you go, the marker in the map will follow. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a good joke. Okay, so let's just begin. Open up your Android Studio, go to File and select New Project. Write any name, I chose Location Tracker. And then click on Next and then you'll see a following this screen. You can select add no activity, then but then you'll have to create your own uh, layout and your own activity class. So just select Google Maps activity, click next and click next on the following screen also and then just click finish. Okay, so once you have finished the project, uh, not finished the project, once you have finished um, creating the project, you will see something like this. This is Google Maps API.xml. You need to enter your API key here and then your app is ready to be installed. It's ready to be installed. You can just try it out in your phone and you'll see a map and a marker over some place in Australia. But to track your location, we need to do something more. So let's get your API key. Let's go to developers.google.com slash map slash documentation slash Android API. The link is in the description below then use something like this then click on this get a key button on the top right next to next to viewing view pricing and plans and then just type the name of your app you can type any name it doesn't have to be the app that you it doesn't have to be the name that you selected in your android studio project click on create and enable api you will see your api key now yeah you've already done a lot see you just need to use this key and you have your project Okay, so copy this key, place it here in this highlighted section, go back to your Android Studio and place it here. Now you are ready, uh, your a simple app is ready, simple maps app is ready with marker, so you can try and run it directly on your phone now. You can pause the video and try it, but, but what, you will not be able to do this because, why, why, because you don't have the necessary permissions, you know. In Android, to in Android, you need permissions from users. So, this requires uh, access to internet and access to location info location information. So, you just need to specify it in the manifest. You can specify it using the follow using the following permissions. It must be in the screen, or if you are in mobile, just check out the permissions in the description. Okay. Now, once you have entered your API key and the permissions in manifest, now you can build the project. You will see and uh, you'll see map and if you, yeah, you'll see a map and a marker over someplace in Australia. So now we just need to get our location and show it on the map. Pretty easy, huh? Okay, let's get to let's get to some real coding now. From your project hierarchy, open this activity underscore maps .xml and you will be seeing something like this the screen manipulate the map once available this kind of you know comments descriptive comments by google you don't need that you don't need that shit just remove it i don't like to see these so many comments more comments and code uh, yeah yeah some maintenance guys will hate me but i don't like so many comments so you can you can keep it if you want i don't okay enough about personal preference let me explain to you what this code does this first line is simple set content view is setting the layout view and we are fetching our uh, map fragment from our layout and we are using this get map async function this function gets the uh, google maps from in background so whenever the map is ready this on map ready function is called and the parameter is a google map and this Lat lang is actually la latitude and longitude, and then we are just adding a marker using this mmap.addMarker method over this 
latitude and longitude this minus 34 and 151 is actually the geo coordinates of sydney i suppose because it's it's predefined in this project so i don't think google would lie to you so about this i don't think google would lie to you about this they may lie about some other stuff but i don't think they'd lie about the position of sydney and this M map that move camera method it moves the camera to a particular geo coordinates in this scenario it is moving to this lat line we created sydney it is moving the camera to sydney's location okay now now we don't need it remove it remove all of it we don't need anything just remove this and create this on map ready just keep one line m map equals to google map okay good see we don't need everything we see what am i saying now you might notice i've added this location listener interface in this in this thing so what's happening is whenever your location changes the location manager calls calls a function called calls a method called on location change so that on location change method is in this interface location listener interface so you need to implement implement this interface you'll be seeing these this red error line error because it's the methods are not implemented just click alt enter and implement all the methods that pop up now you'll see these methods on location changed on status changed on provider enabled on provider disabled we'll just be using this on location change because we just need to update the marker's position whenever the location changes okay so create these new variables on in on the top lat lang call it my coordinates lat uh, location manager call it location manager and so now we'll create a new method we'll call it request location and as you can see the code we are using a criteria class and we are using the location manager to get provider yeah and then using that provider we request location updates so what a criteria is a criteria helps you to get your location data according to a preferred accuracy and a preferred power requirements so it's just you know it's just like uh, how it just defines how accurate you want your location data to be and how much power you want it to be so just copy the code and in android we get the location data using location manager so uh, and this yeah location manager dot request location updates we pass uh, parameters providers and then this and then this 10000 is actually the duration of update in which we it's just time duration in which we uh, in which we get the location data again because the user is moving so we need so in how long do we need to check the location again it's that time it's actually in milliseconds so 10000 milliseconds is 10 seconds so after 10 seconds it requests the user's location again and it's 10 meter and the third parameter is 10 that is 10 meters it's the distance that uh, that must be covered in order for a new location and then this is and the last parameter this is the context okay now we need to write some serious code serious code bam <laughs> okay so it's not uh, anything it's nothing important it's the most of this here uh, the most of this variables that you see is just for perm just for checking permissions in marshmallow or above devices so you don't need that if you are you just plan on using using this on devices that are running lower than marshmallow but do you do you really this uh, permissions thing is really important you, you might well, you might as well learn it right now okay i'll tell you later what these fin this final static int permissions all and final static string permissions uh, i might as well tell, it, tell you right now this permissions all equals to one is just request code to recognize the recognize the reply that we have got is it the is it the reply to our request or is it the reply to some other request and this final static string permissions are the permissions that are needed this dot uh, permission dot access course location and permission dot access final location are required for getting location information 
and what else is new uh, this mar this marker options and marker are new we'll talk about it later and in this on create function we have initialized location manager and then we check and then we initialize marker options uh, initially we've set the la latitude and longitude of our marker as 0 0 and that is somewhere I guess there is somewhere along the equator so excuse me so before before we get our actual location the marker will be over 0 comma 0 and then we check if our belt version is, build version is over 23 if it is over 23 we request permissions or else we just request location directly and this final condition checks if the device we are using is allowed to give location information to apps it checks if the user has uh, allowed location access to all apps not our, not our specific app to all the apps it just checks if location services are enabled and then if it is not enabled we show an alert and we'll show I'll later tell you what this alert is showing okay since we had requested permission location information in this on create now if the system ret returns some location information we need to handle that information we need to show a marker over that latitude and longitude so as you can see in this on location change method I am creating a new lat lang variable my coordinates and then I am create I'm initializing it with the locations latitude and longitude or longitude so and then I'm setting the markers position to the currently fetched coordinates and then I'm moving our map maps camera to that location so I'm moving our maps camera to our new location that is it now yeah we are practically done so if you are running on marshmallows uh, version lower than marshmallow then you are done you don't need to do anything now we just need to do you know just permission stuff we just need to request permissions and uh, yeah and that alert dialog that we have not yet created so here's the code now here's the code for is location enabled and is permission granted so I think you understand the difference between is permission granted and is location enabled let me tell you again this is location enabled checks if apps in our device are allowed to access location information and is permission granted checks if our app our specific app has the has the required permissions to access location information okay okay if you don't you can just replay or even even then if you don't understand you can just message me or you know drop a comment below I'll be happy to help you know I'm a good guy <laughs> yeah okay so the only one method is remaining this is show alert method I think everything in here is self-explanatory 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 is that how you pronounce it okay I know you I know you understand okay so we are done if you have any doubt just message me here or anywhere and the full source code is available in the description below. Okay, thank you guys. Keep on tracking and hope to see you next time. I don't know what I'll do next time, but I hope to see you next time. Have a good one.